the sanctified life, a new creature through grace. The confiding love and unselfish devotion manifested in the life and character of John present lessons of untold value to the Christian church. Some may represent him as possessing this love independent of divine grace, but John had, by nature, serious defects of character. He was proud and ambitious, and quick to resent slight and injury. The depth and fervor of John's affection for his master was not the cause of Christ's love for him, but the effect of that love. John desired to become like Jesus, and under the transforming influence of the love of Christ, he became meek and lowly of heart. Self was hid in Jesus. He was closely united to the living vine, and thus became a partaker of the divine nature. Such will ever be the result of communion with Christ. This is true sanctification. There may be marked defects in the character of an individual, yet when he becomes a true disciple of Jesus, the power of divine grace makes him a new creature. Christ's love transforms, sanctifies him. But when persons profess to be Christians and their religion does not make them better men and better women in all the relations of life, living representatives of Christ in disposition and character, they are none of His. The Sanctified Life, Chapter 7, The Character of John